Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy with PocketNow.com. If you're like me, you either have just received your Nexus 4 or it's in the mail to you now. It's fabulous, it's great, it's a wonderful device. So after the first day has passed and you want to do more fun stuff with it, how do you do that? How do you OEM unlock it? And how do you root it? Let's go take a look. So first and foremost, anything you do from this point forward, you're doing on your own. We're disclaiming any and all liability. You're assuming the risk. This could break your phone. It's half the fun. Next, we're going to talk about unlocking, not carrier unlocking, because phones from Google come already carrier unlocked, or rather, they were never locked at all. So you don't have to unlock something that was never locked. It's just open. Throw a SIM in from T-Mobile, it works. Throw a SIM in from AT&T, it works. Throw Bell, Rogers, Telus, Orange, anybody, GSM, and it works the way it should be. So I'll take a hint on this. Unlocked phones, unlocked phones. Anyway, next we're going to talk instead about unlocking the bootloader. Just like it sounds, it unlocks the bootloader. If you don't know what the bootloader is, luckily we've got a video for you that talks about that. I'll have a link at the end of this video to that video so you can get caught up just in case you don't know. After we've unlocked the bootloader, then we want to load up super user. We want to root the device. So I'll show you how to do that as well. All of this used to be relatively complicated. Now it's not because we've got a really cool toolkit called the Nexus 4 toolkit. You might be familiar with its cousin, the Nexus 7 toolkit. Same type of thing, different device, works great. Let me show you how to do it. So I fired up the Nexus 4 toolkit. It starts up ADB, sees that Daemon's not running, so it starts it up, yada, yada, yada. And then it wants to see if there's an update available. Well, I've already done that, so I'm going to type no. Yes, you have to type the word no. We'll hit enter. We get a disclaimer, some information written by Mark Skippen. Way to go, Mark. This thing's awesome. Then it wants me to select my device version and build. Now, I'm running the next version up from uh, JOP40C. I'm running the D version. This will work just fine, so we'll hit 1. By the way, this is the uh, 4.2, and the next one's 4.2.1, so something like that. I might have gotten those backwards. Anyway, which one do we have? 4.2. We're good. Great. Next. Now we've got this huge, huge menu. First and foremost, if you have not installed drivers, you can do that with step number one. It will take care of that for you, but you do want to unplug your device first. You can back up and restore your device. Unfortunately, you've got to be rooted to be able to do that. So if you've already got everything pre-configured, kind of out of luck. You can lock or unlock your bootloader. So let's go ahead and hit three. Now, before you do this, this is going to wipe your device completely, totally fact refresh, new, no pictures, no nothing, fresh, 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 okay? All you got to do is one, unlock, you're good to go. I've already done that to save some time in this video, so there you go. I've shown you how to do it. Go ahead and do it. It's as easy as that. Step two, or not step two, but option two is relock. So if you are all done and, hey, you had your fun, you want to go back to stock, you can go back to stock and then relock the bootloader so it looks just like it was when it came from the factory. So great. Third option is what we're going to do here because we've already done first option. That takes us back to the main menu. From the main menu, what we want to do is come all the way down here. Dee, 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 dee. We want to, where is it? Root and unroot options. Number four. We go into that. Now you'll notice number four on the side says, fast boot mode. So to get into fast boot mode, we want to hold down our volume up down button together. And sometimes that's easier said than done. I'll do it this way. So up and down are held, press and hold the power button, wait until it wiggles. And there you go. Now we are in fast boot mode. We got to get this thing connected up to the computer. So we've got our nice little USB cable, plug that in to the bottom and now we can continue. So we'll put the phone down 
come back over here to our menu and in fast boot mode we can root the device and install busybox so number two we want to do that from here do we want to install super user by chains dd by the way big props to chains dd for an awesome awesome app Unfortunately, Super U is better right now by Chainfire. So, Chainfire, hey, thanks for picking up where ChainsDD left off. Super User or Super Sue is what we're going to go with. And it, in fact, says this is disabled until it's updated. So, select Super Sue on Android 4.2. So, we're going to do that. Super Sue, enter. And now it has a whole bunch of stuff. Essentially, we have to tell it is our device in fast boot mode? And are we ready to go? Type in the word yes, press enter. And there we go. It takes a total of like not even a second, but the procedure will restart here in just a moment. It's got this little timeout. Now on the phone, you might hear the computer making little beepy sounds. The phone has now rebooted out of fast boot mode and it's booting up into normal mode. If you look on the computer back here, you can see it's already detected Nexus 4 storage. Brought that up. So it's waiting for USB debugging to be enabled and continuing in 10 seconds. So we'll wait 10 seconds. And once that's done, now it's rebooting back into fast boot mode, which of course takes a few seconds. Now we're back in fast boot mode and we're waiting for the next step to continue. This is actually downloading the boot.image, that's the insecure boot image, which only took a little bit of time, and then it, of course, is booting up from there. Again, this device, the Nexus 4, boots extremely fast, though it may not feel that way while we're watching it on video. So just know in real life, when you're doing this, it's not gonna seem quite as long as when you're watching it on the video. But there we are, we're back up. It now has a 10 second pause while it waits to do the next stuff. Now what it's doing next, it's going to be sending over some of those uh, fun things. So it starts up uh, ADBD in root, which it was already running in root. Pushes the super user APK, pushes BusyBox binaries to the device, installs them, tests it. In fact, let me show you down here because the device is boring right now. So it's going through showing you what you should see. Yep, that's what it is. Sending the command to see what commands are available. That's great. And now once that's all done, it has to reboot the device again. So if the device doesn't reboot, unplug it and hold the power button until it does. You can see that mine just did. I am unlocked and it's now booting up. So. We'll let that reboot and I'll uh, come back in and show you that we are in fact rooted. So the best way to check and see if you are in fact rooted is to go to an Android terminal emulator. Anyone will work. Just open that guy up, wait for it to download here. Downloads really super fast on this device. So let's go ahead and launch this thing. If I can remember what it was called, it should be over here in the T's terminal emulator. From this point, we type in SU, super user. And you notice we have a dollar sign prompt. Press enter. And it's gonna ask for super user permissions. We'll grant it. And now we have this hash sign or octothorpe as our prompt. So we are in fact running super user. We have rooted the device. We'll go ahead and exit that. And we just exited super user by the way. And now we're going to exit the terminal. And there we go. So Nexus 4 all rooted, all ready to go. Now we can do some fun stuff like come in here to uh, ROM Manager, which I have already downloaded. And we can flash Clockwork Mod Recovery with just a tap, which I have already done and stuff. So that's what you need to do before the next video comes out and we start talking about some other stuff and fun custom ROMs. Okay, for Pocket Now, Showing off rooting, unlocking, having all kinds of fun with brand new devices like the Nexus 4. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't following us on Twitter yet, we are at PocketNowTweets. I am at Joe Levi. And of course, we are interested in your thoughts on the 
Nexus 4 toolkit. So head over to pocketnow.com and leave your thoughts, your comments, your critiques, your testimonials, whatever they may be, over there so we can all participate and learn from each other's experience.